Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, you'll learn how to add targets in Google Data Studio. Adding targets to your reports and dashboards will let you quickly see if you're hitting your KPIs. To do this, we'll be adding reference lines to our charts, and we'll also look at how to add a target and ranges to bullet charts. Let's head to Google Data Studio and get started. Google has recently added the ability for us to add reference lines to our charts in Google Data Studio. This lets us add a constant or static value as a line to our charts, or we can use a calculated metric for the line. Let's start by creating a new report. I'm going to add the Google Analytics sample data to the report. Now let's add a time series to our report. And let's change the metric to e-commerce conversion rate. You can use any metric you like for your chart. So if you're not looking after an e-commerce website, then you might want to choose goal conversion rate, an engagement metric like bounce rate, or any other metric that's important to you. Now let's select Style. And let's click Add a Reference Line. We can choose from Constant, which is a single static value, or Calculated. I'm going to use Constant, but if you wanted your line to be based on the metric used in the chart, then you could select Calculated. For example, you can use this option to show the average value of the metric in your chart. For this chart, I want to show a target of 0.25% for the conversion rate, so I'm going to enter 0.0025 as the value for the reference line. And I'm going to name the reference line Target Conversion Rate. And I'm going to change the colour. We can now clearly see the e-commerce conversion rate trend for each day, along with our target for the metric. Remember, I'm using the e-commerce conversion rate metric from the sample Google Analytics data, but you can use any metric you like for your chart. And apart from time series charts, you can also add reference lines to line charts, combo charts, bar charts, column charts, area charts, and scatter charts. Now let's look at another way we can display a target. Let's add a bullet chart to our report. I'm going to change the metric to Revenue. And we can then set the values for the range limits. Let's enter 3000 for range limit 1, then 6000 and 7000. We can see this adjusts the grey bars behind the blue bar, which represents our revenue metric. Now we can enable the option to show a target line on the bullet chart. And let's set 6000 as the value. The chart now includes a vertical line for our target of $6000 in revenue. Since the bullet chart doesn't display the value of the metric, Let's add a scorecard to our report. And now we're going to use conditional formatting to change the colour of our scorecard when our metric is below our target. To do this, let's select Style. And let's click Add under Conditional Formatting. We can set the condition to Less Than and enter 6000 as the value. Now we can set the colour for the text and the background. This now means that if the revenue value is less than $6,000, the scorecard will be highlighted in red. Let's click Save. And we can see our scorecard is red. Now I want to show you how to display a metric along with your target value and the difference between the metric and your target. To do this, we're going to add a table to our report.
and I'm going to remove the dimension so that the table displays a single row. To add our target, I'm going to click Add Metric, and I'm going to select Create Field. I'm going to name the field Target Revenue. Now I'm going to enter 6000 as the formula. I'm going to select Type and change this to our currency so that the metric is displayed as dollars. And now I can click Apply. Now I want to add the difference between the metric and our target. To do this, I'm going to click Add Metric, and again select Create Field. This time I'm going to name the field Difference. And I'm going to enter Revenue minus 6000 as the formula. And I'm going to change the type to our currency. And I'm going to click Apply. We can now see that we haven't met the target for our revenue metric, because difference is shown as a negative dollar value. Finally, I'm going to add a conditional formatting rule to change the colour of our difference if we haven't met our target. To do this, I'm going to select Style. And I'm going to select Difference as the metric. Then I'm going to select less than or equal to as the condition. And enter 0 as the value. Now I'm going to again select difference under colour and style. And select red for the text and background colour. Now I can click save. We can see that difference is highlighted in red since the value is below 0. When we meet our target for the metric, it will stop being highlighted in red. You could go a step further and change the colour to green using another conditional formatting rule. So that's how you can set targets in Google Data Studio. Remember you can add reference lines to your charts including time series, line, bar charts and more. Plus you also have the option of setting targets for the bullet charts used in your report. What targets and KPIs are you going to add to your reports in Google Data Studio? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.